Hello YouTube, it's Shaz here, and as you can see, I've got a massive, massive box. And what's in the box? Well, let's find out. So, normally I'm not the type to do an unboxing type of thing, but the contents of this box are extremely special. Um, some really sought after items for me in here. Um, things that like you would just not normally find in today's day and age, so... Uh, yeah, I just want to give a big shout out and thank you to Noah and uh, Daniel. Both of you guys uh, are incredible. Uh, thank you for what you've done to this hobby and what you've done for me especially. So uh, yeah, this wouldn't be possible without you guys. That's absolutely incredible that you guys were willing to do this for me, deal with me, and get me this stuff. So yeah, what's in here? Uh, I have shown it off a little bit. So uh, first things up, XBZ tank. Let's see. Yeah, seems to, yeah, oh yeah, works good. See the air coming out of that? Beautiful. And what do you know, another XBZ tank. Also works. Beautiful. What else we got in here? Oh, we got a, uh, a signal blaster tank. Uh, basically a 4B tank. So, yeah, let's check if this works. Wow, that OPRV kicks in quick. I was expecting a lot more pumps. I got another one of those. I just like to test these things, just why not? There it is. OPRV. Yep. So we got hard pulls on those uh, 4B tanks. This, hmm, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a barrel. That's really nice brass chain frame. This must go to that air blaster. There's a, uh, yeah, oh, right here. It's a JSPB. Oh, what do we got here? Another air tank. Oh, what is this one? Oh, uh, is this a Mega Missile tank? Someone might have to let me know in the comments, but yeah, I want to say this is a Mega Missile tank. Wow, that is a really gross pin pull. Maybe the, uh, like, takes for if it works. These are cool because you can see the, uh, the plunger come back. I usually do about six, maybe seven pumps into these things. It's a little bit smaller of a tank than, uh, a shot blast, so I actually don't know what this is out of. Someone's going to have to let me know, but... Nice good little snap out of those. It's a cute tank. Got yourself your classic 4B tank. Just needs a pump assembly, but it's there. So it's definitely been used before. You can tell by all the, the goop around it. That's all good. Got another 4B tank. Oh, should actually show it in camera. 4B tank. And uh oh, this is though this is the one I'm really, really interested in. So this isn't SVT OPRV 4B tank. Oh, and that's got a really nice, yeah, really nice pull on that one. So basically what that means is the overpressure release valve, as you can see, is being put into the back here, glued in the back, and now it has a screw. So it's got an adjustable OPRV on it, basically. So all you really need to do is just hook this up to a uh, pump of some sort. You could probably hook it up to a bike pump or something like that. Throw this in a shell of your choosing, and this would be an absolute monster. A bunch of uh, air tech... I want to say AT2K slash Supermax 1500 tanks. So, that's pretty cool. Always a good one to have. And there's another one hiding in there. There he is. We got a uh, reinforced Titan tank. That's pretty wild. With some fiberglass thrown over top of it, it looks like. Or some sort of whatever. And we got a pump for the, the Titan. Cool. Uh, we got a B-Bum tank. Or Busby Ultimate Missile Blast. So, pretty sweet. Okay, here's a fun one. It's a Lennard Scatter Blast. So, it's a basically an air, uh, not an airsoft, it's a Nerf Grenade. So you put your darts in the top here, and it actually has an air tank on the inside, and you pump it up here. And basically, what that would do is it would fill the tank, and then when you drop this or whatever, it would shoot the darts at the top, and it smashes this tip basically here. What do we got in this? Oh, we got a ball valve. What could it be? <laughs> nice epoxy mold. God. That is wild. So I don't know what this is, actually, to be honest. I think it might be a 3K. Yeah, okay, so it is still a 3K. 3K with uh, internal RSCB that runs through it. So, pretty sweet. And got your standard uh, Hornet pump. So it probably takes about seven pumps, I want to say. Seven pumps. And pull, fire, yeah, very cool. We got a uh, Skepter in here. 
Battle Max Skeptor. That's funny. So you can pull the whole pump right out, I guess. So Interesting. It's probably just because of the pump handle is normally connected here, and it kind of pivoted like that. So we're never really designed to um, be pumped like this. So that's good to know. I might have to make a pump stop for it. Yeah, you basically just pump that up. And you can see it gives you a, a semi-automatic trigger pulse. JSPB air blaster of some sort. I don't know the exact uh, model. You guys might have to tell me in the comments, but yeah. Neat. Very uh, early, early 3D printing. So it's pretty sweet to see how it's come. I can just tell how rough uh, a lot of this stuff is for the most part. Some of it's not bad. These, the blue came out pretty clean here, but the black really shows it's... And yeah, you can see this part right here is cracked. Right there. Which makes sense. So that would be a really easy part to remodel and remake. So that's your RCB on the inside. Yeah, pretty sweet. I'll have to uh, work on that one. I can't wait to play around with that one a little bit. So. Got a little guy hiding in the corner here. <laughs> the old classic Panther. It is a black pump, but it's a black pump white barrel, which is really, really fascinating. Yep, so you got a large tank. Pretty cool. But it has the tracked pump, so that means this thing won't swivel and move and whatever. So there you go. What else we got in here? Oh baby! Alrighty. Yeah, Noah said this thing was falling apart a little bit, so I'll have to. Uh... That's so beautiful. You tied it in ribbon. So yeah, he says it was just hot glued together, which is. Fine. I'll probably goop it all together. Amazing goop is a lot better of an adhesive. It's more permanent, but uh, it at least will seal and then it won't fall apart. So, yeah, I can see it's just a little bit wobbly. Yeah, that's fine. I can always glue that back together. You probably already know what this is. <laughs> nah, nah. Yep. Yep. Oh, but hold on. The trigger's a little bit different. Whoa, why is there a big hole in there? Oh man, and it's a French logo one too. I didn't even realize that at first. That's actually new to me. That's that's hilarious, man. You did it to a French logo? It's like I barely even knew these existed until like a year ago. So yeah, obviously coupler in the front. I like how he kept the, the front. I don't like when guys chop them. I, it's a, I guess you can leave the foreground. I just hate the clean chop in the front there. I find it looks really tacky. These are beautiful the way they are. So yeah, must be a big blast an obvious favorite so some grossness going on there I don't know what that is so but yeah the nice thing though is it's a modified big blast so that means I don't have to desecrate one myself so what what could be better than that big blast hey I don't know there's not a lot of things that could be better than that big blast except for what what is that what I think it is a creamsicle big blast God, this is clean. Beautiful. Yeah. I don't know if these just didn't get produced very much, or it's just right at the very end of the life, so they just didn't stay on store shelves very long. But, yeah, these are incredibly, incredibly hard to come by these days. This colorway, so it will work. If you want it to work. There you go. Awesome. Thank you. This one was a special deal done with Noah himself. He just, he found this at Value Village. Just a few weeks ago for four dollars which is insane so absolutely incredible incredible thrift and thank you so much for doing the deal with me and letting me get one of these so puts me one step closer to a complete collection got this long boy over here this is why the box was so massive is just because of this guy so whoa I'm sure some of you guys already know what it is Yay, because you know, I just, I don't have enough, of course, right? When can I say no? Literally never. This one's a little bit different, though, so. Just a little bit different, so. Holy, that's a tough spring, goddamn. All right, boy, I don't want to break that plunger rod, then. But yeah, it's got a uh, pusher shoved in there into a 17 30 seconds brass barrel. That extends all the way down here. And I like his uh, use of a PVC coupler as a, a little tip. I might paint that orange just to, to make it match. But yeah, that's that's pretty sweet. I'm going to have to 
shoot around, play around with this guy. I'm going to definitely uh, make the extended stock for this guy so I could actually maybe use it in a game. But uh, yeah, this plunger rod, if it hasn't been reinforced, I'm going to open it up and check. I'll just prime it once. But yeah, that's that's a beefy prime. We got something else pretty special in here. What's that? Oh man, it might be a raider. A painted raider. Let's go. That's a oh. See, that's and that's not a venom trigger. That's uh, Danny's own design. That don't know what this is. This is a modified Ertl pump action shotgun. So, and this is what they can look like once you uh, put some work into them. So. Pretty sweet. It's got a obviously a stock mount and a nice proper grip for it, so you could also sling it. It's got some serious weight to it. This entire thing here is plunger tube, which is super super cool. So let's just give this a prime. Okay, so that's not as bad as I thought it would. I do I check the seal on it? Okay, just once. Yeah, seal's actually pretty good. That actually is uh, all right to do that. So I was scared that it might have no seal and it would just dry fire and be bad. So yeah, that seal is pretty good. Uh, definitely gonna put some darts through that. Put a hopper on it or something like that too. Oh, beefy, beefy prey. Yeah, good seal. Air tanks, 82 2K tanks. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I don't know. I'm absolutely ecstatic, like this is incredible. To find some of these blasters, let alone finding them all together, is just, you know, I'm so blessed. I'm so thankful for this community, what they've provided for me. You guys are awesome. So keep up the love and support and uh, I'll uh, keep up the uploads here as they come and I find time. So thanks for sticking with me and uh, yeah, till next time.